Hey everybody, uh, we're out here at a uh, local uh, cemetery and we're going to do the July cache advance uh, challenge for this month and it is take a muggle geocaching and I have a muggle with me right here. What is your name? My name is Byron Taylor. Byron Taylor, yeah I know Byron. Um, tell, uh, tell me what you do uh, in, as part of the city of Greenville. Well I'm the CEO of the Greenville Chamber of Commerce. Cool. I'm also the uh, board president of Keep Real Beautiful. Okay, yeah, and, that's awesome. Uh, I've been involved with uh, a lot of the public art around here for the yes. last few years. We have gotten a lot more art we in have. town, and it looks awesome. We have, and we have more coming. Oh, that's great. <laughs> yeah. Um, and um, you are what's called a muggle. I don't know if you're familiar with uh, the term in geocaching ease. Um, muggle is someone who's either never been geocaching or has never heard of it. You've heard of it. I, heard, I have heard of it. You've heard of it, but you've never been. Right. So we're going to do that today. So I'm a newbie. You are a newbie. Yeah, <laughs> newbie. Uh, and we're going we're, we're gonna to race that muggle off of your, uh, the moniker off of you. So we're going to go find a geocache. So, all right. All right. Come along. Let's do it. All right. Okay. So we're ready to go. We're ready. Okay. So we're going to use um, Cashly because Cashly is awesome. So I'm showing the screen real quick. So we are, how far are we, Byron? We're 60 feet? 60 feet. All right, so we're going to go hunt for that. Now we could use uh, the Garmin, but instead today we're going to use a smartphone. Uh, of course, is used quite often nowadays uh, in geocaching, but you can use either. Um, these, are, these are good if you don't have any signal for your, for your phone. Okay. Um, so, you know, it's good to get a, some type of, of uh, I like Garmin, but you can get any kind of GPS uh, receiver. Uh, but phones are good for most of the time. Um, so, and what anyway. are we looking for here? Well, we don't know. Um, we can look it up. Which um, I'm just going to let you know because I already know this one. Um, and it is a it's a small. So, the small. Small. That's all I'm going to tell you. So it's small. It's a small container. Small container. Yeah. It's log, this one has a log only. Some of them are bigger. Some are smaller. So, so uh, the good thing is it gives you a little red arrow. So let's go. All right. Which is very gorgeous. Part of part of why geocaching is so wonderful is you get to go see cool things uh, while you're geocaching. So, all right. So you're getting closer. How far are you right now? Oh, uh, we were closer than. All right. There you go. You're doing good. So you're getting. Now we're getting closer. All right. So how close are you right now? Seven feet. Okay. So um, let's. As, we, as a good geocacher, if we're that close, we could do what they call the drunken bee dance, which is we could walk back and forth several times, but mm -hmm. you're still not going to get really, that's about as good as you're going to get GPS accuracy. So at this point, you're going to hand me the phone. Okay. And you're just going to search. All right. With your eyes and your hands. And you're going to look. And you never know. Could be under a rock, could not. That's a good idea. Nothing there, okay. Oh. Is it further away? No, it's uh but uh I can put the Benny Hill music with this too if you want me to. <laughs> that might be that might be good. And uh so you're really did I lift the did I lift the rock enough? <laughs> no, you yes, not under there. No, okay. you're good. <laughs> but you're oh so close. <laughs> oh, 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 Take a look. What do you see there? Byron's looking. Oh, I see a little. Oh, there it is. Yeah. <laughs> How about that, huh? There it is. Pretty tricky, huh? <laughs> so we are going to open it up. Yes. And we need a pen. I'll go get one because we need to sign the log. But go ahead and take it out. So we'll take a look. Yeah. And then you unroll it. And flip it over and take a look. I think I see a name on there. Let me see right about there. Hey, look, G Slink and Slinky Mama. 
Yep, there we are. So there's all the people that have found it. And some people have stamps. See this guy down here, oh, he has yeah. a stamp. Which makes it, you know, if you're, you know, if you want, people make stamps. First person to find it was this guy up at the top. Um, where'd I go? There we are. A guy named Tony? No, Neon Cowboy at uh, the very top. Oh, okay. See the FTF honors? FTF stands for first to find. And so um, he put the time and date. And then um, then everybody, pretty much everybody puts just the, the, the date that they found it. And um, so, right. yeah. And this one is just that. Others have things in them, but that's all this one happens to be. And so you would sign it and you get to claim it. You would log it on here. You know, it's hidden. Great. So what do you think? I liked it. Did you hunt for that one? That's a really tough one. Well, I'm going to have to go find more. Awesome. Well, see, you've been converted. <laughs> You're a geocacher now, Byron. That's Great. awesome. So, well, thank you so much for coming along and, and doing this video with me. Appreciate it. Thanks again. All right. We'll see you guys. Bye. <laughs>